I'm going to stand here. Come to the front, please. All right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are here to uh, begin the ceremony for the inauguration of our new Henry County Board of Commissioners and our new county chair. It's truly a historic night, if you think about it. The board that we are about to swear in is going to be more representative of our community than possibly it has ever been. The folks who are going to sit in those six chairs come from various backgrounds, various genders, various demographics, various ideologies, and even various party affiliations. But I can tell you, when they walk through that door and take those six chairs, all those things stand aside. Though they bring all those various things to the table, when they make decisions, when they sit in those chairs, they indeed are Henry County. They are here to represent each and every one of us in the coming years ahead. I'm not going to lie to you. It's quite an honor when somebody says Mr. Commissioner or Mrs. Commissioner or Madam Chairman or Mr. Chairman. But I can tell you also that the six folks who sit there and the three folks who are about to take their oaths of office tonight, they're about to undertake a great sacrifice. Folks don't realize the amount of hours these folks are going to take away from their families, from their homes, from their work. And they do that not for great financial reward by any means. They do that in service to their community. At a previous inauguration many years ago for a board of commissioners, I was here when my friend Dana Lemon, and I don't know if she's in the audience tonight, but she was performing the role that I'm performing tonight. There she is. And she read a quote. I'm a student of history, but I had never heard this quote by Teddy Roosevelt before. But any time we have a service or a ceremony such as this, I like to share it, and I'm going to read it to you tonight. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of good deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust, sweat, and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes up short again and again. But there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows their great enthusiasms, the great devotions? Who spends himself in a worthy cause? Who at the best, in the end, knows triumph of high achievement, and who, at worst, if he fails, at least he failed while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with the cold and the timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you would all agree in this time in history, politics and elections have become a fairly harsh thing. Uh, they tear us apart. They cause arguments not only at home, but in the public and among all of us. But tonight, let us celebrate that we are a nation who gets the right to vote and choose its own leaders. Whoever you voted for, for this, person, for this county election, it doesn't matter if it's the three folks who are being sworn in tonight. What we need to do is tonight give thanks to these three individuals for their willingness to serve and be the leaders of our community as they take the oath of office this evening. It is fitting that we begin this ceremony with an invocation to pray for our chair and our commissioners as they begin their service in the years ahead. I call on Pastor John Dewberry to give the invocation. Let's pray. Father, we do thank you so much for this great day. We thank you that before the foundation of the world, you knew this day was going to come into existence. 
We thank you because of your faithfulness. Each of these candidates have placed their lives and their heart, sweat, blood into this, this great day. And Father, we know that you're going to honor them, but we also know that they trust in you to be able to do the things that you call them to do. And Father, we thank you that you allow us to have a government. And you allow our government to understand that it only exists simply because of the fact that you say so. According to your divine word in Romans 13, you established government. And as these three leaders come into the podium tonight, I pray and ask that you allow them to remember you as they reflect over every decision they make, every financial decision they make, as well as just decisions in general dealing with everyday life be a reflection of your divine will for their lives. And Father, we thank you for each and every one that came out to help celebrate this great night. We thank you and praise you for that opportunity. And we also pray for traveling grace and mercy. We pray as we prepare to leave this place, but not your presence, that we will continue to give you all the honor and the glory that you so justly deserve. And we ask it all in your son, Jesus Christ's name we do pray. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would please rise for the presentation of the colors by the Henry County Fire Department and please remain standing until they have receded. I'm going to ask one of Henry County's newest Eagle Scouts, James Franklin Pittman from Eagle Scout Troop 265 to come forward and lead us in the pledge. And if you can now please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, liberty and justice for all. At this time, India Skandrick is going to come forward and lead us in the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watch who were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you. You can be seated. <clears throat> I 
All right, now we're about to get to the good part, and that's what you've all come for tonight, and that's the administering of the oaths of office to the new commissioners and new chair. I haven't had the privilege to get to know our two new district commissioners uh, very well at this point, but I can tell you from what I do know, uh, I, I, seldom, I seldom come to this chamber anymore, uh, but I was here the other day at a commission meeting, and I had the privilege to sit for a little bit with Commissioner-elect Wilson he comes to you as a former county employee, having been a firefighter for 32 years. He brings a unique perspective, but it excited me to see his excitement and the plans he had for the coming years ahead. As I sat there, Commissioner Clemens has already taken the oath of office to fill an unexpired term uh, for District 2. So I got to see her in action firsthand. Everyone that I've known, or that I know that have known uh, Commissioner Clemens has told me how hard she campaigned and how much uh, she sought the job and let everyone know what she was going to do, and I saw it in action. It was a fire station she was fighting for, and I thought the tenacity of a brand new board member to get up and fight like that for the district that she represents was awesome. So I know her passion for the job. I saw it. June Wood, I have known June Wood for many years. I had the pleasure of serving on the chamber board with her even back then, before she held any elective office or even ever thought she would seek elective office. She was a cheerleader for Henry County. I promise you, in June Wood, you will have an awesome representative for Henry County and a wonderful chair. It is my privilege to recognize uh, my colleague and friend, Judge Kelly Powell, who is going to administer the oaths of office to the new commissioners and chair. Commissioner Wilson. You, you, you've been summoned. I don't think you can say no uh, to the new commissioner, so. That's a sweet hug. If you would, raise your right hand and put your left hand on the Bible. I have two oaths for you today. You can do it too. Do you, Johnny R. Wilson, solemnly swear or affirm that you will well and truly discharge the duties of commissioner for Henry County and in all manners which require your official action to the best of your knowledge and skill Will you so act as in your judgment will be the most conducive to the welfare and the best interest of the entire county? And that you swear that you have been a resident, therefore, for the time required by the Constitution and laws of this state. Do you also further solemnly swear or affirm that you're not the holder of any unaccounted for money, public money due this state, or any political subdivision or authority thereof, and you're not the holder of any office of trust under the government of the United States, any other state, or any foreign state, which you're prohibited from holding by the laws of the state of Georgia, and that you're otherwise qualified to hold said office according to the Constitution of the United States and the laws of Georgia, and that you will support the Constitution of the United States and of the state of Georgia. Do you swear so help you God? I do. Okay, one more. And to you, Johnny R. Wilson, a citizen of Henry County and being an employee of Henry County and the recipient of public funds for services rendered as such employee, do you hereby solemnly swear and affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Georgia? Do you so help you God? I do. You're official. Congratulations. Thanks. All right.
two places for you to sign right there in that room. too many of you all to ask to come up here so with the Broadway family and district two just please stand those of you who came out with me tonight just stand where you are but please stand with me tonight okay you want them to, to remain standing too yes. right okay Do you, Demetrius C. Clemens, solemnly swear or affirm that you will well and truly discharge the duties of commissioner for Henry County and in all matters which require your official action to the best of your knowledge and skill? And will you so act as in your judgment will be the most conducive to the welfare and the best interest of the entire county? And do you solemnly swear that you've been a resident of the county for the time required by the Constitution and the laws of this state? Do you further solemnly swear or affirm that you're not the holder of any unaccounted for public money due this state or any political subdivision or authority thereof and that you're not the holder of any office of trust under the government of the United States, any other state or any foreign state which you're prohibited from holding by the laws of the state of Georgia and that you are otherwise qualified to hold said office according to the Constitution of the United States and the laws of Georgia and that you will support the constitutions of the United States and of the state of Georgia. Do you so help you God? I solemnly swear, so help me God. <laughs> and the loyalty oath. Do you, Demetrius C. Clemens, a citizen of Henry County and being an employee of Henry County and the recipient of public funds for services rendered as such employee, do you hereby solemnly swear and affirm that you will support the constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Georgia. Do you so help you God? I do, so help me God. Congratulations, thank you. You are official. Oh. Thank you. Now my friend, June Wood. Thank <laughs> you. 
If you will raise your right hand and take an oath. Do you, June Wood, solemnly swear or affirm that you will well and truly discharge the duties of commission chair for Henry County and in all matters which require your official action to the best of your knowledge and skill? And will you so act as in the judgment, as in your judgment will be most conducive to the welfare and best interest of the entire county? And do you solemnly swear you've been a resident of the county for the time required by the Constitution and the laws of the state? Do you further solemnly swear or affirm that you're not the holder of any unaccounted for public money due to state or any political subdivision or authority thereof, and that you're not the holder of any office of trust under the government of the United States, any other state or any foreign state, which you're prohibited from holding by the laws of the state of Georgia, and that you're otherwise qualified to hold said office according to the Constitution of the United States and the laws of Georgia, and that you will support the constitutions of the United States and of the state of Georgia. Do you so swear, so help you God? I will, so help me God. And do you, June Wood, a citizen of Henry County and being an employee of Henry County and the recipient of public funds for services rendered as such employee, do you hereby solemnly swear and affirm that you will support the Constitution of the United States and the Constitution of Georgia? Do you so help you God? I will, so help me God. Right. You are official. Okay. This time I would like to invite Pastor T.J. McBride to come offer the benediction. Let us bow our heads and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come before you once and again. First of all, we want to thank you for this moment, for this time that we have to come together. Your word declares, O oh God, that how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. And we thank you for the unity that is in this room right now. Father, we also thank you, Lord God, for these uh, wonderful people uh, who have been uh, commissioned to, to serve Henry County. And I just pray now, that, Lord God, that your glory will rest upon them now in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would give them wisdom, that you would give them knowledge, that you would give them understanding. Father, I thank you, Lord God, that you're going to bless this county as you have blessed it in so many years past, but we thank you, Lord God, that we're even going to go even higher. Your word declares, Lord God, that when the righteous are in charge, the city will rejoice. And so we thank you, Lord God, for June Wood. We thank you for Johnny Wilson. We thank you for D. Clemens. We ask that your presence will rest on them so that they can make the right decisions for this county. I also thank you, Lord God, that even though some of us here stand as Republicans or Democrats or even Independents, I pray, Lord God, that we will be, Lord God, what the Pledge of Allegiance says, we will be one nation under God. Thank you, Lord God, that we will love each other, work together. We will live together in harmony. Most of all, we pray that Henry County, Lord God, will be the best county in the state of Georgia. So we thank you that it's already done, and we give you the praise. We give you the glory, and we give you the honors. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone say amen. amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I wish I could tell you that government always ran as efficiently as this meeting tonight, but it does not happen all the time. 
and seriousness, I want to take this opportunity to thank Melissa Robinson, our Director of Communications here at the county and her entire staff, the fire department, you see a good number of them lining the walls, doing the color guard tonight, uh, and all the many employees of the county who put this together. There's a reception waiting for you in conference room B, which is right across the hall, but all the planning that went into this was done by the staff. So if you don't mind, let's give them a, give them a hand. Now then, for those of you not familiar with this building, you head out that doorway right there, and across the hall is the reception, and the new chair and commission will meet you over there and be glad to speak to you. Thank you for coming this evening.